Hello Tangerines from the very breezy Querétaro, Mexico. This is our very first time in the city. We're so excited to make a vlog here soon, mm -hmm. but today we are going to be telling you things that nobody told you about Mexico. The first thing nobody told you about Mexico is that the country is so large and so mountainous that if you flattened out the country, it would be the size of Asia. The next thing is, the capital of Mexico is Mexico City. That's no secret to most people, but the fun fact here, well, maybe it's not a fun fact, but Mexico City is sinking at a rate of 10 inches per year. It used to be the seventh highest capital city in the world, and now it has literally sunk down to be the eighth. Something else they didn't tell you about Mexico is there's a surprising amount of wealth here. There's actually 173,000 millionaires living in Mexico, and by that metric, it makes it the 25th richest country in the world. That's ahead of countries like Finland, Israel, the United Arab Emirates. I'll be honest though, I find that a little bit hard to believe, especially the United Arab Emirates one, because I'm constantly getting emails from princes and royalty or wealthy people there wanting to share their riches with me. So I just don't understand, but you know, we'll, we'll go with the data on this one. Like the United States of America, in Mexico it's Los Estados Unidos Mexicanos, or what translates to the United States of Mexico, and the country is comprised of about 30 different states. It's kind of funny that we've told people, oh yeah, we live in Quintana Roo, and they'll be like, oh, I've never heard of that. And be like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a small town that we're living in, halfway between Cancun and Playa del Carmen, and they're like, oh, I go to Cancun every year but they've, they've never, never heard, heard of the state. <laughs> <laughs> so you see this here, what I am holding. This is a can of worms, and I will be opening it with this next one. So let me lay it out for you. Like Jordan just said, in Mexico, it's Los Estados Unidos Mexicanos. People are called Mexicans or Mexicanos. In the US, it's the United States of America, so it makes sense to call yourself American, right? Wrong! You will piss off a lot of Mexicans and a lot of Latinos for that matter to call yourself American because by their argument there's North America, Central America, South America, all Americans. I maintain that I am from the United States of America and in English the only word we have for ourselves is American, but you will definitely get the arguments going, get the engines revving if you call yourself American in Mexico. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> so with all that said, hi, my name is Maddie. I'm an American. I'll see you in the comment section. Fight me! <laughs> Something else they didn't tell you about Mexico is that there are over a million Americans living here. If you're one of those that are thinking about moving to Mexico, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to start learning Spanish. I know it's a really overwhelming thought to learn another language, but you just start with the basics and then you learn from there. Our favorite course to learn Spanish is called Rocket Languages. And right now, this weekend, they're running a great sale. It's 60% off, but only for the first thousand courses sold. So if you're interested in that, head on over to tangerinespanish.com. That's our affiliate link and it will take you right there. Again, tangerinespanish.com. By the way, this gorgeous tree that was right behind Jordan the whole time is called a jacaranda. They're in bloom right now in Querétaro, and oh my gosh, so pretty. It's just lilac-y purple all over the city. Something else nobody told you about Mexico is that within the confines of the country, you can transport anything and everything on a motorcycle. And for many Mexicans, this does seem like they take it as a personal challenge. We've seen like six people, an entire family on a motorcycle, where it looks like the toddler's the one driving. Somebody shared a picture of, with us that had a rooster, a dog, and a guy on a motorcycle. We've seen people carrying massive, like 12 foot ladders. They're in the center of the ladder and they're driving the motorcycle. It, it gets pretty crazy, but it seems like if you're in Mexico, you're good to go. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something else I didn't tell you about Mexico is that it's an archaeologist wonderland. This is the home of the Aztec and the Mayan empires, and there are ancient ruins throughout the entire country. Many of which haven't even been fully excavated. Excavated? Or even partially. Or even partially. For instance, we're here in Querétaro, and there is a partially unearthed pyramid. You can see mm -hmm. one quarter of it just about, and it's pretty large. If you look across the way, there's another pretty large hill. mound, hill, <laughs> mountain, and we learned that even though you can't tell, and there's houses built on top yeah. of it, there's actually a pyramid below. So the world may never get to see that one because there's neighborhoods built on top of it who they probably didn't even know at the time. <laughs> Another example that we saw was back in Cholula, Puebla, where we saw the pyramid there, which is the largest by volume in the world. And it's almost completely unexcavated. 
excavated. Excavated. But that freaking word, I cannot. Excavated. It's almost all but unexcavated. Unexcavated? It hasn't been excavated. <laughs> it has only been partially excavated, and there's actually a church built on top of it. Something else you probably didn't know about Mexico is they have abundant natural resources. For example, Mexico is one of the largest exporters of oil and silver in the world. It's a significant part of their economy. Something else you probably didn't realize about Mexico is that there is an extreme diversity in appearance here. And that's probably because Hollywood portrays Mexicans as like handlebar mustache with a sombrero riding a donkey through the desert as tumbleweeds blow by. <laughs> but there is a crazy variety. For instance, there's Afro-Mexicans, which are about as dark skinned as you can get. There's really light skinned Mexicans, even lighter than me, if that's even possible. We noticed this first when we were in Jalisco, we were in Guadalajara at a restaurant and there were all these white people around us and we were like, oh, we picked a, a real gringo restaurant here, but then we heard them speaking fluent Spanish. Come to find out there's this place called Los Altos de Jalisco, where very light skinned Mexicans come from and elsewhere in the country as well. There's tall Mexicans, there's there's really short Mexicans, often of Mayan descent, um, and really everything in between. Also related to the diversity in appearance, it actually gets a little bit deeper and more complex than that because Mexico is home to a lot of indigenous populations. So although the country's, uh, the country's main language is Spanish, there's a lot of these populations that speak their native language. In our travels around Mexico, we've actually been talking to some people on various occasions and then they look at us like we have four heads not understanding what we're saying and I we're like I could have sworn I said that right uh, but then we learned that since a lot of these people don't speak Spanish obviously that's why we're not able to communicate with them and the unfortunate truth of the matter is because of the language barrier and other factors indigenous communities are among some of the most disadvantaged in the country this makes me personally pretty sad because some of the most beautiful artesanias and some of the aspects of culture that i love the most in mexico actually come from these indigenous communities something else i didn't tell you about mexico is there's a 16 percent national sales tax and this tax is already included in the item price so for example let's say you're at a Home Depot shopping for a refrigerator in the US. There's that, the refrigerator's price, and then something like 8% tax is gonna be added on to the price of the refrigerator when you actually go to purchase it. In Mexico, that same refrigerator might look expensive, but that's probably because the 16% tax is already in the price. The next thing that most people don't realize until they get to Mexico is that the Tex-Mex or Mexican food that you're familiar with probably will not exist, at least in the way that you think it will in Mexico. For instance, I had so many chimichangas back in the US and I think I've seen that on a menu once in the three years that we've traveled all across this country. Uh, something else like sour cream that was typically put on enchiladas and nachos and other Tex-Mex foods like that, I've never tasted sour cream. There's crema and different varieties of cheese, but not sour cream. So there's a lot of that that's a little bit like, this. was I really ever eating Mexican food? Or <laughs> Also in terms of food, you'll probably be surprised to know that Mexican food varies regionally, by state, and even by city. Each place has its own unique food culture, and we've mentioned this before, so I'm not gonna get too much into it. If you're curious what we're talking about, watch just about any other video that we've made, any of the other 300 videos, because eating Mexican food is an important pastime of ours. <laughs> Something else nobody told you is that pizza is one of the most popular Mexican foods, or should I say one of the most popular foods for Mexicans. Literally everywhere we go in Mexico, even though the food culture is way different in every state and every city, no matter where we go, pizza is one of the most popular foods. The next thing that I highly doubt anyone has told you is that if you're driving in Mexico and you're taking a toll road, which is recommended by the way, when they give you that proof of purchase receipt, you should definitely hold on to that, at least until you're off that toll road, because that acts as insurance. So if you get in an accident, somebody hits you or something crazy happens, that will cover you while you're on that road. We are so stoked to make an actual vlog here in the city of Querétaro, so if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button and... And gong that bell so you'll get notified the next time we release a new video next Saturday. Every Saturday we release a video. In the meantime, on the screen here, you can see our binge watch everything playlist where you can watch all the videos we've ever made in Mexico in order from the beginning. And we will see you next Saturday. <laughs>